hello and uh, welcome to this particular session on uh, the dwsim simulation in this particular uh, exercise i am going to try to simulate the lpg flow in the pipeline as you can see here i have given lpg so this is lpg that we use in our uh, domestic purposes and also also in outside also right so this lpg contains propane and butane <clears throat> i hope everybody is uh, familiar with this particular this propane is considered to be a 60% here and butane 40% <clears throat> okay now what is the conditions i have given here so if you can see this conditions let me erase all these things here yeah you can see the conditions which are given here the temperature is taken as so the temperature <coughs> temperature is 25 degrees centigrade and the pressure is one atmosphere and the flow rate is given as one uh, 100 kg per hour and the thermodynamic model which is chosen is unifat okay right so this is the basic structure of the simulation starting <clears throat> now the purpose here is that when i uh, this is the pipeline which i have taken chosen and this is the outlet which is actually shown so you can actually look at the you know result here that means that i i am trying to actually show you the pressure in the inlet line and the temperature in the outlet line. So what is the reason behind is that the pressure and temperature are not changing. That is what I wish to actually uh, tell you. This See, in, in this, the pressure is fixed and temperature is fixed. One atmosphere and pressure is, sorry, pressure is this, temperature is 25 degrees centigrade. Here also, the pressure and temperature. See, but what is that which is concerned to me? That is concerned to me is that the phase of the LPG. What is a phase? See, if I am trying to transport through the pipeline, I require it to be as a liquid phase. Okay. So the concern here is at what pressure? You know, at what pressure, keeping the temperature as to be as 25 degrees centigrade, the, uh, what do you call, the LPG will become liquid. So that is what we will try to actually check now. So as it is, if the system is, uh, the, if the simulation is run with this particular solution so this is run and you can see you can see here uh, uh, this particular yeah so if i choose this here yeah so the results if you can see here uh, i'll let me go to the compound amounts <clears throat> and if i say results see this is vapor phase it says the property says it is a vapor phase okay so but i want it to be as see if i click here you can see the phases is vapor but i at what pressure this is going to become the liquid so i have to increase the pressure and the mole fraction of the vapor you can see here, the mole fraction of the vapor is 1. The mole fraction of the vapor should be 0. So, 
I can actually straight away increase the pressure and then check. Now let me do that first. Okay. Stream conditions. Instead of one bar, I take it as five bar. And I press enter. Again, I check. Now see the phases. Again, it is vapor plus liquid only. Still it is vapor phase liquid. Okay. So you can see this, uh, this particular uh, this phase is still vapor plus liquid at pressure is equal to at pressure is equal to 5 bar. Okay. Now, again, let us actually change the pressure still more higher, 8 bar and then press enter. Now you check the, the phase which is actually now representing the liquid is liquid phase and the vape mole fraction is of the vapor is zero. So at this particular, you know, but see, this is the DG, DG means digital gauge and a digital gauge. In the inlet, I am measuring the pressure. In the outlet, I am measuring the temperature. That means I am trying to see what is the pressure and retaining the temperature as it is. So this is one aspect of checking the I am trying to retain the temperature and then doing this. The other way around, if I fix the, you know, one atmosphere as my pressure, what is the temperature at which the, what do you call, the liquid will be, the LPG will be vapor. Definitely, if you can see, propane and butane, they are the gases and the temperature would definitely the boiling point, we should know the boiling point. If I say minus 25 degrees centigrade, you can see this minus 25 degrees centigrade here. I check this, still it is minus vapor, vapor plus liquid. So I still go beyond this to, to 28, minus 28 and then check this, still vapor plus liquid. Again, I come back, I do it minus 30. I check this, still vapor plus liquid. I come to this place and then minus 32. Still, it is minus vapor plus liquid. So, I come to this phase. I make it as 35. Now, let us see. See, it is totally liquid phase. So, let me say minus 32. Okay. So, come here vapor plus liquid. If I say minus 33 liquid. So, with the two simulations here, you know, we did two simulations here. Uh, one is changing the what happened? Keeping temperature is equal to 25 degrees C. The pressure we got is 8 bar to keep the phase as liquid. Okay. This is one aspect. Okay. Next one is what? I want, I do. I cannot operate at more than one atmospheric pressure. I can retain one atmospheric pressure. And then I check the temperature at minus 33 degrees Celsius, the phase is liquid. So this is my observation in this. And you can check also with the, uh, with the boiling point of the LPG2, then you can decide about this. So <clears throat> this is the simulation of This is a simulation of LPG flow. I want this to be flow. The, the LPG phase should be liquid. And I cannot increase more than one atmospheric pressure. That is one, one stage. And another stage is I want 25 degrees centigrade or room temperature to maintain what is the pressure I can actually beyond increase beyond it. Okay. Right.